And here come Widnes trying to run the ball out. There's a little bit of a juggle there. And the first tackle's been missed already. The ball given back to Saltonstall, thankfully for Halifax. Well, they were, they were broken open there by the uh, number 11, Sam Wilde. Brandon Moore waits impatiently for the play of the ball. Joe Keyes drops it off, but to no real effect as Halifax only made three or four metres with a run from Laroya. Tangata, another man that spent time with Widnes. Ed Barber pushes away the first attempt to tackle. Joe Edge shoved away. Sam Wilde bringing Ed Wilde down. Last tackle again. And we're going for another kick. This time it's back to Corey Aston. Joe Martin chasing through there. Halifax. Well, having trouble. I think it's Sam Wilde again. They're struggling to put down. Beyond the Halifax 30 metre line in the fax half of the field. A little kick over the top could be a problem. Saltonstall manages to clear the lines. Race to the corner. Halifax able to stop Sam Wilde again. He's a Posing a constant threat. Aaron Brown, three metres out in a bit of a mud bath at the front of the post. Smith gets the pass away. There's a long pass over the top. Did it touch Halifax's fingers? Halifax struggling to uh, make the tackle. Last uh, this is recounted, the tackle start is recounted by the referee. And Kenny Baker almost reaching out to the line there. Will it be a long pass? It's shifted out quickly, but it's gone forward. Well, Corey Aston did that last week to uh, a stunning effect, but it's not coming off for witness this week as the ball travelled forward. Off the hand, so they'll come back centre field, but it'll be Halifax possession this time. This time, Tangata running off the short ball into three men, edging closer to that witness line. Joe Keys to Aston. Aston out to Joe Martin, but he's marked closely by Joe Edge. Dan Murray fancies his chances, but there's three defenders there again. Referee's hand signalling the last tackle already. Little kick through into defence and Salt and Salt just failing to get to it so back on witness for a quick tap on the 20 again while slow to get to his feet Fozard to Doro and that was uh, a forward pass but uh, none of the officials deciding to do anything about it Smith gets the ball away Roby links up from full back into the line Halifax have made the fifth tackle, referees indicating that, but the Halifax defence is on their own try line with a, a chip through, and Doro managing to barge his way through. He's only been on two minutes. Leroya was waiting for the ball, but Doro, well, just out-muscled him, caught the ball, and went over the line for the first score. Well, it all came from... Really, a penalty that Halifax conceded deep in the witness half that allowed them back up into the Halifax half of the field. The witness, even less he was to playing with their uh, 4G pitch, which uh, doesn't suffer the uh, same fate as this pitch when the uh, Weather becomes a bit inclement. Got a good ball from Kavanagh. Zach McComb opted to kick inside, but uh, Craven back to take the ball and take the tackle 20 metres out from the witness line. Last tackle. Halifax have managed the first five. Can they manage another one? Oh, that's tremendous pressure defence on witness forcing the error. Causing panic, they rushed out of defence in Halifax then. 
and runs it back to the Halifax defence, makes five metres. Windus are 18 metres away from the Halifax line. There's about five minutes left in the first half. It's six points to nil to Widnes. The ball comes loose and Widnes get the penalty, so that'll be two points. Well, it didn't look to go too high, but it was high enough to go over the uh, uprights. Fairbank, back to Brandon Moore. Guazi charging the ball into the tackle from Davis. Brandon Moore, Fairbank again. Passes to Aston. He gets the ball away, and Halifax have managed to get into the... Uh, the witness red zone. Tackles in the bag at the moment. Can they conjure something up? Can they create an attack? Fairbank running off the inside ball from Aston, turning back towards the post. Joe Keys. Kavanagh. Well, another penalty for Halifax. Referee says pulling the ball out. One thing for sure, they won't be going for the two points. They'll be looking to uh, come away with something more than that. The closest they've been with the ball to the witness line throughout this game. Aston, good ball out wide and chances here. Saltonstall in at the corner on the far side of the field. Halifax spreading the play out from under the post where the forwards had gathered for witness. And Halifax finally break that witness line. Corey Aston's long pass, Ed Barber joined the defence, and Joe Edge unable to stop Saltonstall going in, well, only inches from the flag on the far side of the field. So Joe Keys, well, let's give it a real crack and he's put it over from the touchline. What a convert. From uh, Joe Keys. That's Halifax. Cut the lead to two points. That's a try a piece in each half. Even uh, if it means a little bit illegal as it did then with a own uh, down and slowing the play of the ball. Halifax going for the kick again, deep down and Ryan Ince dropping back. Chasers are up and Ince is gonna get clattered again when he picks the ball up and Halifax well, too far away to drag Ince over the touchline, but they were willing to try anyway. Halifax, step it up in defence. And moving. Oh, there's a good tackle. Halifax come up with possession. Colcott's got it. And once again, Halifax have managed to get the ball in a position that could create an opportunity. Can they do it again and get over that witness line with Guazi? Met by three, who attempt to push him back from where he came from, and almost do. Going to that right hand side again with Ed Barber. Defence round him this time. Barber still trying to go forward, and referee shouts held eventually. Holding the ball up, Fairbank, that's a high tackle. So this could be, well, you've got to go for the two points from there to level the scores. That penalty just tied up the penalty count at five. Five penalties each. And Joe Keys has just signed up the score line at eight points all.
So exactly the same sequence of scoring so far in the second half as it was in the first. Fozard gets him, Tangata. Taking the full weight of three witness forwards to stop him. Joe Keys throws the dummy, steps through two defenders, looked round, just unable to get the ball away. Halifax going for the power play, Arundel for the line. Can he get over? Well, he's close, but no cigar. We're up to the line just after the referee blew the whistle. Witness will take the turnover right on their own line. A bit disorganised at the back. It took a long time for a player to get there to uh, act in half to play the ball. Well, that should have been, a, well, there was eventually a big red cross on that one. The pass was too high. Had to reach in the air to bring it down. And Halifax make another tackle. Widner's still 10 metres away from their own line. And there's a cheer every time Halifax make the tackle now on a Widner's player. Doro hit by Fairbank but manages to get away and there could be problems here if Halifax out wide. Inns going inside but McComb manages to drag him down with Tangata. A witness have got to halfway, so Craven will be here to kick through again. Saltlestall picks it up and will run it back at the witness defence. And here's Doro now charging the ball up. And Halifax being edged back towards her own line. And another penalty. 17 minutes to go. Edge misses the conversion. Much to the uh, joy of the Halifax supporters. They gave a couple in the first half, but it's not been too keen on uh, penalising them. The second, Smith's crossfield kick. Oh dear me, dear me, the ball's lost. And he's given Halifax a penalty. I think it was Saltonstall that missed it and somehow it finished up in Halifax's hands. And now it's going to finish up in Widner's hands. There's another mistake, turns over possession. Fozard moves into acting half. Smith drop off ball to Aaron Brown Fozard drop goal attempt Smith puts over the one pointer well witness more confident with a one point getting the one point than they were at trying to get the four Arundel inside two Zach McComb Zach McComb goes for the, a gap that was quickly closed down by the witness defence. Brandon Moore out to Aston. And Halifax pushing forward. Last tackle, two metres away from the line. They've two men on the right hand side and they've men stacked on the inside. Kick through from Aston. Oh, and it's forced. Out of play by a witness defender. It'll be a drop out under the post. Eight minutes to go. Joe Martin to Kavanagh. Last tackle. What will they do this time? Brandon Moore switches. Corey Aston. Well, a drop goal. Never even got off the ground in that one. Not really a. A great option where the mud is. At least uh, Smith managed to stand where the grass was. And there's more green in the Halifax half of the field than in the Widnes half. And without the attacking punch, Halifax have struggled 
to create any real opportunities. Smith is stood on grass again. Not going his way. Ball coming back centre field. They'll be quite happy just to take the tackle. Across the hooter sounds and winners have won another game. Much to the joy of their players and supporters. But uh, neither side really showing any credentials for being the uh, top team in the Betfred Championship this afternoon in the conditions.